let's talk about the immune system really quick. You may have noticed that this time of year, it feels like everywhere you turn, somebody has got something that you don't want to catch. I know my kids brought home stuff from school. My grandson was sick. So it's it's all over. And, and here's a great question to consider. Why do some people get exposed to something and they get sick and other people don't? So that's a great question that I um, unpack a lot more in my blog article this week. And I put a, a link um, in this video. There's a, a link to read the full article if you want. It, it's this idea that there's this germ theory where if you are exposed to stuff, you're, you're just going to get it. So you have to basically sanitize everything, stay away from everybody when they're sick, all of that stuff. And that's not to say that good sanitation or prudence with avoiding sick people is, is a bad thing, but there's also this competing theory, and, and I, I favor this theory, that we, we want to do all the things we can to improve our terrain. So we're going to get exposed to things all the time that we don't want to, and we just have to beef up our internal um, resolve, if you will, so that we're as strong and, and we can stand against all these uh, immune threats that come against us. And there's there's a, a number of things that we can do that that will help this. And, and I'm going to unpack that. But just really quickly, if you avoid sugar, sugar has a, it, it has an effect where it dampens your immune system. It, it's not as effective when you've got a bunch of sugar pumping in. So you, you want to eliminate sugar as much as you can. You want to make sure you're getting plenty of sunshine. If, if you're not able to get sunshine where you live because it's a cold environment, you want to make sure you're getting plenty of supplemental vitamin D. Almost everybody that I test on vitamin D, and I, I test a lot of people on this, are, are low. So just make sure that that, that, that is in the, the ideal range. You want to get some exercise. You, you don't want to overdo it so much that you actually start to depress your immune system like, um, you know, if you're marathon training or something like that. But most of us aren't, <laughs> we're, we're not even knocking on that window yet. We, we just need to be active 30 minutes a day. We need to take more walks. We need to lift some weights, uh, things like that. Um, and also another thing that some people may not consider is using intermittent f fasting strategically. W when you fast for an extended period of time, so I'm talking about something over the 16-hour the window, maybe into a 24-hour fast or something like that. W what you do is because your body isn't requiring all of its energy to digest food that's coming um, at you, you know, that you're taking in and eating, it can turn around and increase something called autophagy, where you you kind of go on a scavenger hunt for things that need to, cells that are n not as healthy as they could be. They're, maybe they're mutating and turning into cancer, or they're bacterial cells or viral cells or things like that. So it has this immune enhancing effect if you fast. So a strategic way to do that is to take, say, a 24-hour window once a week, once a month, whatever the right frequency is for you. Or certainly, if you feel like you're starting to come down with something and, and you can you can fast and do water, take in a lot of uh, good fluids and, and really um, give that immune system a little bit of a boost. Um, you can make sure your gut health is in great order. So much of our immune system health comes from our gut. And, and that is like a completely separate topic because it would take so long to unpack that. But gut health is foundational for everything. So um, j just know that. And, and that circles back to eliminating sugar and eating a good clean diet with lots of fruits and vegetables. So that's how those are related. And then another thing I think is really important is consider your immune system as a piece of your overall health. I, I, I completely understand if you are fighting the flu or a cold or whatever it is and you will just want to feel better and, and you want some relief in that moment. But really, I think immune system is a, is a bigger piece of your overall health picture. So I think it's really important to have someone evaluate you in, in the context of all of that. Run some labs that look at the whole body and, and identify what pieces are, you know, weak in, in your, which links are weak in your chain. So, so that you can get your priorities and, and figure out, okay, is your immune system, is it optimally enhanced? Is 
what's your gut health look like? What do your hormones look like? What does your thyroid look like? What, what do all those things look like and how do they all tie together to making you the healthiest person you can? So I hope that that was helpful. I think it's timely because, like I said, it feels like this time of year there's just stuff going around everywhere. And I think it's really helpful to think of it as what can we do from the inside out to, to make ourselves more resilient. So thanks for watching.